What's up, everyone? So I love this Mazda 3, but one thing I don't like about it is the horn. So I'm going to replace the stock high-tone horn with a low-tone horn. I picked up this Fiam Freeway Blaster low-tone horn off Amazon for about 20 bucks. I'll put the link in the description. In order to access the horn, we're going to have to drop the front bumper. So you're going to have to remove the screws from the bottom of the bumper that's attached to the upper splash shield and on the side of the wheel well here and all I'm going to need for that is a Phillips screwdriver so after you remove the screws you're just going to want to pull the side of this bumper right here pull it out it should just snap in and this one little screw right here on this wheel well on the passenger side on the inside of the grill there's going to be two plastic clips you're just going to want to pull up and then pull out and then you can just pull up on the whole bumper and it'll just pull off. And that will expose your horn. And you'll need a 12 millimeter socket to remove the bolt that holds in the horn bracket. Unscrew it, it just pulls up. And you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket to remove the horn from the bracket. Now I have the new horn here and I'm just gonna attach the ground wire to the new horn. It's just a clip and it slides in. And now we're gonna remove the positive wire from the old horn, it's just a clip. Push down on the clip and pull out. So now I'm removing the old horn. It's just an 8mm socket for that nut. Then we're going to put the new horn on. We're going to attach the ground wire right to our bolt. I'm going to tighten it up by hand and finish it off with a 12 millimeter socket. And now we're going to reattach our positive wire to the new horn. Just push the clip on. And now we're going to reattach the front bumper. Just going to pick up, put it in place, and put the screws back in. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing.